everybody, we're here on the Stim Hack League playing Noise against PE. This is not really a match I want to play. The issue being that we don't have any net damage prevention whatsoever. So we're basically just going to try and imp things so he can't install as many traps as he wants to. Also, the random mills can get filled with shocks sometimes in the archives, or she queues, and that's just very upsetting. Alrighty. Hmm. Just gonna ignore those. Gonna go into his hand and kill something. And I'll draw back up afterwards. See snare. <laughs> well that was a unfortunate start. But if I die right away I'm fine to go to game two. I don't especially enjoy just watching all my cards go away. So this is the uh, quality time version, which is definitely worse against PE than the wild side version. The wild side version, you just have cards all the time just trickling in. <coughs> and the game lasts long enough that wild side does give a lot of value. Um, you can't run snare. Hmm, don't really want any of these cards. I'm gonna check this in case it's like a field. Oh, House of Knives, perfect. Um, let's kill a Jackson before he finds a Scourge or something. I'll just, I'll probably shake tags next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna put a snare back in. I'm gonna do that now before he gets anything else to put back in. It did cost him all his money to uh, play that snare, so it wasn't that great for him in the end. I'm not just not going to play Inject this game, because I'm already going to run out of cards as it is in most of my games with this deck against BE. The Mimic really depends if he's playing like the really basic deck. Really, Shellcorp. Huh. Not sure what I think about that. Let's go kill it. Yeah, having nice things is definitely undesirable. That could be a Gura, and that's fine. Whoa! Okay, this is not your typical PE deck. We're gonna get ripped. Ha, <laughs> yep. That is just way beyond what I was expecting to see this game. Interesting choice. Huh. Well, it only has a buck, let's go in here. Gotta take out that shell corpse soon. I'll probably. It's a tune bug. Okay. Can maybe a parasite of that instead for last action, but I do kind of want to keep my hand foolish. Yeah, 
we want I want data sucker or something or the grimoire would be nice well if he's not going to do like a thousand cuts type style then actually I don't hate playing inject we got a what daily cast sure gamble okay get our imp back if we want to. Haven't seen this card in action yet. I'm curious to see how far he'll load it before something bad happens to it. Okay, he's going to take it when it's six. It's pretty reasonable. I mean, I've run everything so far, so he's probably putting a trap now. I don't care as much about Gila hands. Okay, that's decent. I'm just not going to run that one. Okay. Uh, I think this will let me pl avoid playing my Shuri Emble. And I do want to just kill this. Make him play another one. I can probably Parasite all his Grails. They're all pretty low power. Also means attacking his hand with the Imp is good because I can knock out the Grails from hand. Get some sucker tokens now, then I could have instant parasite ready for these ice, which is the best way to deal with them. And I don't care what type they are, the clone ship can zot them. Is that another shell corp? You might have like done like shell corp and have a field, for example. I think it's a pretty reasonable play. Twenty six cards in stack. Yeah, we are gonna actually need money this game, so I'm gonna play the daily casts. Also be like hopeless side grid. Pretty reasonable play, especially if we're already gonna stack these upgrades in here. Pretty good. Gonna have to not run into that, I think. Oh, that's decent. The medium actually could be alright if he's not running a ton of damage. Alright, I think I do want the Crypsis. That's gonna do. Let me face check safely. I feel like this could be an agenda. 
but I didn't really want to risk my hand for it. What do we got? Oh, there's power shutdown there. It's really relevant to know. Rainbow. Inazuma. Okay. Bit unlucky for us, but I see what he's doing there. So we should keep some cheap programs out. Maybe leave one of those cash on the board. Because I don't want to lose this clone ship for no reason. Bit too late for that. Um, <laughs> yes, there's definitely a trap under that, and I have basically no way to deal with it without triggering the trap, which is, I assume, Psychic Field? Could be Snare, I guess. It's kind of a waste of a good Snare, though. Alright. Let's Deja Vu. Let's get back Imp. Now, how good is this medium? Not as good as Data Sucker, I think. Let's go kill the. Yeah, let's go kill this. <coughs> Don't know if I need this sure gamble there. I might be able to play the imp instead, but just not gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna access my card first. Enigma, okay. And I will deny him his six dollars. Not as good now that he's got two of them. But I have plenty of cash to, to make that happen. So next round I need to play the Data Sucker in order to have something cheap to eat the power shutdowns. I don't want to lose this Mimic because he's probably playing a decent number of of centuries. <coughs> Question is, do I quality time or do I just leave, save it for damage? Um, because I kind of want to play cards. On my daily cast, I can do it next turn. Let's just leave that in our hand. We'll click the draw. I want this game some more. I feel like he's not that concerned about killing me. I want to kill some of those grails that are in there. Oh, well, this is Merlin. This is a bad idea. It's just Enigma. I'm going to bounce in that. I think. I don't really want to pay five. So this sucker tokens will definitely help. We're going to break stuff with Crypsis. So 
Well, this is a name, but also. I don't actually have a Yogg in this deck. I've got one Corroder and one Mimic. Despite my good hand, this does feel like something I want to run on. Plus there's Archives, because it's Jackson. Yeah. That's good, and we're getting ready two of them pretty early. There's still over half a stack left. Got a had power shut down and a hidden card. Okay. I'm gonna run this. I don't want him to have this money all game long. I need to keep him poor, clicking for credits. Snare or psychic field? Snare, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I wanted to keep. The other way would have been fine too. The imp tokens are going to be precious enough that I should save them. Just pay credits for that. A little quality time. And the scratch tag. This is coming out quite late. Just trying this out. I don't love it. Um, but it does help me install my non virus programs like David, Knight. The Corroder or the Mimic. And it can help for viruses as well if you don't have enough cyber feeders out. So I figured I'd throw it in and test it out. Running three cyber feeder and two macro drive. Once Earthrise Hotel comes out, I'll definitely be taking out this kind of mech car for just more draw power. All right, well, I'm now completely broke. <clears throat> I don't actually mind pawning this and playing out the imp instead. Um, let's get some, let's get something. Deja vu, okay. Get the parasite. <laughs> uh, and cache or data sucker? I think I just want all the parasites that I can hold. Yeah. I think just a lot of parasites is a good way to go. I won't actually play this this game. Seems a little bit. Well, the second Crypsis I shouldn't need. So I'll just throw that out. Getting down to 17 cards. I'm going to start conserving cards a little bit more. Do you have one more Deja Vu? No, we don't. We're out of Deja Vu's. Okay. We have more injects, which we're definitely not going to play now. Got him quite poor. That's where I like him. The fact that we're quite poor also is not that irrelevant. Three credits. Does that get us to beat? That doesn't get us to beat anything that we. He could still do something like. Lance a lot and to show two more grails and blow us out. <coughs> I'll 
Just let the agendas pile up a little bit. Yeah, he sees that we can run to HQ next turn. He's going to put down some traps, I think. I think one of this is an agenda, maybe two. Um, still interested in running HQ. Just in case there's something I want to imp. I always got Lancelots somewhere, but they're not that good against this mimic. Want him to pay enough money that he can't fire a snare in one of these two cards. Oh, that's interesting. Rainbow. Hmm. It's actually quite good against this deck. It's the Crypsis. So he's telling me that these are not snares. They could be fields. Since he probably can't score next turn off of two dollars, let those sit for a little bit. What's this puppy? No reses. Okay, successful run. Let's, let's access our car from the top. We're gonna see Merlin. Yeah, we'll force trash that at no cost. And we'll see what we got here. Under Shell Corp. No Midori. Oh, that is. Wow, interesting. It's kind of spicy. I should maybe trash that, but I think I want to see what he does with it more. I'm going to leave it. If he destroys you with it, then that's cool too, actually. Uh, we'll parasite another one of his ice, or just put the cyber feeder out. Maybe none of the above. Let's go for one more access. He's only got two credits. An APD contract. Ugh. All right, that's fine. We'll take that. Better than a fetal, I guess. So we haven't seen much influence at all yet. You could have a Scorch package in here. Like, let's say he's playing three Merlins, three Lancelots, three Galahad. That'd be nine. Oh, Mining Corp. Well, we gotta kill that. like to trash that out of his hand. Um, I don't want to check the other one. No, it wouldn't surprise if it was an agenda. I wish I had more intel about what's in this hand. Yeah, we did let one go. The House of Nyes will be 
Yeah. Shucks. He's at six bucks now. Hmm. Could parasite the other one. Well, that's decent. Yeah, I think I will play one Cyber Feeder. He's doing a good job of making me actually need some money. Corroder is going to let me go through the rainbow for three. Just really didn't want to lose the field. I'm going to try to just mill him to death. He has 13 left and only one point. And I've got, I believe, enough viruses in the rating card. Ooh, that's, that's problematic. For that, that could be something, something big. It's only two advancements though. Like the worst is, I guess, what two brain damage, four, four net damage. Probably four net damage. Survivable though. I have cards I want. I probably want. If I run here first. I'm gonna run here first. See if we can just spend any money here, which will limit this from being overrider. I'm okay taking four net. I just don't want to take two brain, especially much. And there's the knives here as well, so I have to account for that. Okay. It's the quality time. I wasn't going to put it anyway because I don't have cards left. Let's see. Power shut down to force trash. So if I run here and get four net, actually I die a double EMP. I'm just not going to run that one. We're going to just play the other imp and try to empty a stack. Before he scores out. Pretty pretty ballsy play to put a future perfect here. I feel like it's probably Ronin or June bug. I said ten ten left in the stack. I hit the th if the third Jackson is in there, we're in pretty good shape. If it's not, he's going to be out of three more cards. And that's unfortunate for us. Oh, icing that up. Is that... Strange that was Philotic. I don't really think it's Philotic. Because a medium is probably. Well, it's not the worst. It's not a virus. Let's see if I can kill another card with the imp. Feel pretty safe with eight dollars. He has to pay for it. How much is Midori to res? I don't even know offhand. Is it zero? Yeah, it is zero. Uh, four bucks for the next one. 
I think I just bounce here. You can slap the parasite on it. Eight. With nine cards, there's probably like four points in the archives. I could just go before he gets his third Jackson. But the flip side is if it's full of like she Qs or something, then that's really unfortunate. It's pretty risky to go to the archives right now. Have to like win outright, basically. I, I, I can flip them all face up and cho choose the order of access, which I might want to do. Okay, he's spending another turn just drawing or just clicking for credits. That's awesome. Another data sucker in here, right? Two more data suckers. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find some more viruses. Yeah, that's that's card is not very good. Would have been much happier with another clone chip. Whoops, nope, don't play that because of the MU. Right. Grimoire is still in the last last bunch of cards. Should I check that? The thing is, once I check it, I can go into his HQ pretty easily, but I don't even need to do that right now. Hmm. Can I get him to pay for this? Let's see if I can get him to pay for this. So this is down for a long, long time. Hmm. I think it's a trap. I really think it's a sight field. It's gonna jack out. I mean, there's a non-zero chance it's the Philotic. That would be a reason to leave it out for quite a while. But even if it's Ronin Philotic, I'm not dead yet. I think it's this feel, except that he's playing NAPDs, so he might not even have Fetals. It's kind of a weird choice. But I don't know. See, he's been clicking for credits so much because we denied his Shell Corp. And that's why I don't really want to play Shell Corp. It's like a trade if it doesn't die, but once it dies, you just didn't get much economy out of it. Ooh. What? Holy, okay. Hmm. So do we want this medium or do we want the sucker out?
I'm just gonna pick away at him. He's down to seven. Yeah. See if he can flip over this card and pay some more money into it. He probably shouldn't. He probably should just save for a snare hit. Because if he does have like a snare scorch style thing, that's probably his best bet to win this. Or for me to get impatient and make a really dumb play. Which has been known to happen against PE. Let's see what we got. An APD contract. All right. Uh, running on fourth action? Maybe not. Maybe not. I think I definitely should not. Another virus is good. He's at five. We have four in his draw. Three, two. I don't think he can possibly score. Well, like future perfect and like a clone retirement is six, seven, eight, nine actions. Yeah, no, he's he's toast. Never got to see what Midori would do to us. I guess you just swap the appropriate Grail in. Like if they're running with two breakers, you swap the Grail, which is the third one. Yeah. Then you hope the Grail blows them up. That's not awful, but also just not very good. Like it assumes that there's a card that does get them. I think the sucker, I think the mimic is not needed as much. Let's just draw. Hmm, okay. There's gotta be enough in the archives right now. Right. Oh well. Let's go for the slow choke. This could well be Jackson. <laughs> no, but he said successful run, so it's not Jackson. It's an interesting idea for him to play this agenda mix. But the ice doesn't seem to be really there to ever score this. Outside of just straight up bluffing us. Uh, let's find another virus. It's not a virus. There we go. And we'll install this as well. Empty him out. There's the game. So yeah, if you if you dirtle a lot, then noise just beats you. You really can't use a planet that, that just takes too long to work. <laughs> what was in there out of curiosity? Actually, there was only one agenda in there. Huh, no shiqs, no shocks. Two of the EMPs, huh. and we hit the third Jackson, obviously. Interesting. So I guess it was fair to not waste time in the archives. Just play all their viruses. I think that might have been our last virus. We have, no, one more sucker, right? Yeah, one more sucker. Stay back and inject. Yeah. 
So Rainbow was pretty good this game because we didn't have any good breakers. Like if your opponent's playing AI breakers anyway, it's a pretty reasonable card. Yeah, I don't want those anyway. They're too hard to steal. Future perfect side game bullshit. I could imp them, which is fair, but I figured if he wouldn't I figured he wouldn't risk exposing them on the board. Yeah. That's what I figured that was. He kind of had to at that point in the game. So, thanks for watching guys.